Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with another review. Today we're checking out East West Sounds Hollywood Choir's Diamond Edition. And as you could tell by that little intro, this is a choir VSTI and it is unlike any other VSTI for choirs I have ever had my hands on. I'm just going to run through kind of why it's so special, talk a little bit about this user interface right here in the front of the screen, and then we're going to jump into what makes it incredible, and that is the word builder. So that word builder is what makes this thing stand out. Usually a choir device lets you do vowel sounds. So it'll let you manipulate the choir instrument to sound like a choir is, you know, ah, e, u type things. But this instrument will literally let you type sentences into it and the choir will sing it very, very closely. Let's just jump in. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. I just want to jump in and show you. Um, I've got this right here and this is looking kind of weird because it's Votox. Uh, this is the language that the instrument wants. But if you see right here, there's a, something that's called English where I can just jump in here and type something. So let me just go ahead and do that. My name is Joshua. Okay, so uh, I'm actually gonna go back. You see when this is red right here, this is something that's not in the dictionary. So you're gonna have to, uh, if your words are coming up red, you're gonna have to finagle that a little bit. But uh, I can go ahead and just put Joshua there. And now watch what happens when I play my keyboard. So my name is definitely, definitely came through there. I'm sure you heard it. Joshua has some problems. And essentially we need to jump into the Votox and you can see here we've got this kind of different language and there is a key inside of the user manual if you wanna get in and start to learn this, just like another language you need to practice. But I mean, we can get in and obviously come in and make some changes here. You know, if I wanna just put an H or something and then, you know, ooh, ah, you know, I don't know what that's gonna sound like. Boom. And I just did that, just guessing. And it sounds much better. It sounds much closer to Joshua. It's Joshua. So anyway, that should already have dropped your jaw to the floor because it did mine, okay? So let me just run through some of the features and then we'll get back into the choir. This thing comes with, I think, 56 gigabytes of samples. So it's huge. And you've got females, you've got males. Uh, and obviously, once you get in and combine the two, you've got a full choir and it sounds absolutely beautiful. This is the main user interface and it's used in something called Play, which is kind of like a contact player but it's not contact, it's called play. And you load it just like you would with the contact player. You go to the browser and find your instrument. So you see I've got the men multi-choir here. It does come with the consonants and vowels separated if you wanna get very, very particular. Uh, and then you just come to the multi here and load it. I'm gonna go ahead and load up that. The woman one, just so we can hear that too, but it's essentially, it works just like the contact player. We also have a mixer here. We have control over everything and there is an effects panel that has solid state logic EQ inside of it. It's got a solid state logic compressor down here. It's got Omnicide inside of it. Oh, it flipped over there. It's got Omnicide inside of it. Uh, X out of there. We also have an amp simulator here at the top and a really nice convolution reverb. So uh, really great built-in effects right off the bat. Super dope. When you want to get in and start tweaking and polishing your final sounds, go ahead and close out of there. And each one of these mixers is for each one of the instruments that you can get in and start to mix everything that's inside of there. These are the different mic positions, for example. And I'm gonna go ahead and close that and let's jump back into the player. So this is kind of the main interface here. We've got some system information where we control the minimum, maximum velocities, the, vo uh, the voice limit and stuff like that, bit depth. And we have a sensitivity control, which we can adjust here as well. And a really cool thing about this is if I use the modulation control on my keyboard, it changes this kind of strength of the choir itself. So you can really do these cool kind of fade-ins
There's also Portamento control, which is going to have a small glide between each one of the phrases or each one of the chords or keys. There's Legato, which gives it that kind of uh, like a tremolo style effect. And there's another one called Other right here, which changes how the tremolo reacts to velocity sensitivity, I believe it is. We also have Envelope control, uh, pretty standard ADSR and H. And then over here, we've got this Stereo Double. And we have an amount knob. We've got the master controls panning, the master tuning as well, coarse and fine controls, master output. And we also have the, a quick uh, reverb control here, some really nice, I believe these are convolution reverbs inside of here, and they all sound phenomenal. And the default St. Mary's left right sounds uh, absolutely delicious. And right here is kind of a visualization of the mic position. You can see here it's kind of like a event hall, I would guess. And we have the choir right here, and then we have four mics right in front of them. We've got two left-right stage mics here. We've got two mics in the middle of where the audience would be. And I'm, each one of these mics are different, and they're using like some omnidirectional microphones here that are really top-notch, so you really get kind of this uh, idea of space and how it sounds and then we also have two mics further back and what's really cool is just like other large instrument libraries you have a main control right here which is just going to be kind of a mix of everything already mixed for you a mix of all the different microphones and it's going to take up you know a little bit of ram obviously if you look down here we got 233 megabytes here we can also shut that off and then go for full control over the other mic positions so we have one two three four different mic positions and we can turn those on right here and then make our own mix of them if we wanted to uh, you got to be careful though if you don't have a lot of RAM in your system because each one of those is going to take up more RAM. So that's why if you're, you know, you don't have quite as much RAM as you might like to have, leaving it on main is a good idea. And I also think main sounds phenomenal, so I'm just going to leave it there now. But it's great to know that you have that possibility if you want it. Making your own mix of the room, super dope. So let's jump into where things get crazy, and that's this text editor over here, and it's just. I mean, it really is just incredible. Uh, as I said, we've got, can just type in English here. We can type in phonetics and we can also type in the Votox, which is going to be, it's going to give you the best results once you get a handle on what these sound like from the computer, because this is what the computer is always going to translate to, to be able to make the choir sing a certain way. I suggest coming in and using some phrases to get a handle on things. To, and if you look, we've got English phrases, tons and tons of English phrases, German, Italian, Latin, so some of that old school choir -y stuff, and even some Spanish down here. So if I jump into English, let's just choose one. Uh, I will fight for justice. Let's see what that's. A, and if you look right here, it's actually added I will fight to justice to the phrase I already had, which is very helpful if you're going to be building something a little bit more uh, intense, a little bit more long-winded, if you will. If you want to delete or overwrite, you just got to select everything and then go back in and choose uh, the phrase. So let's just choose I'm a survivor and play that out. Let's check out another phrase here. Again, I uh, didn't highlight, so I need to highlight everything. Let's try a war between angels and demons. It's just so impressive. I mean, it sounds like it should. It really sounds like, I mean, you can take out that that says angels and demons. That's just so dope. That's just so dope. Uh, so you've got a bunch of more controls inside of here. You've got crossfade controls, velocity controls. You got more controls below there. You can easily change how the long the actual phrase is. So you hear my cursor's on Muniz, and you can see that that's what it says right here and we can change the length of that. We can adjust the fades over time if we wanna, just like any other system, put it right there, bring in the fade, pull it over, and it will just make things fade in a little bit better. So 
So plenty of control over your words, your syllables, and your letters. You've got all the control you want to be able to make it sound incredible. As far as a review is concerned, I would say that this thing just blows my mind. Just this part right here is a game changer in my opinion. Gone are the days of just, you know, when you're trying to add a choir to your music, it's just like, ooh, ah. Uh. Now you can have it sing lyrics, essentially. That's just insane. I can't wait to see where this technology goes. If it can get even better, it obviously will. And maybe we'll be able to synthesize singers completely in the near future. I mean, this is definitely a great start. As far as drawbacks, I don't really have any. I do think that working with MIDI clips is a little bit finicky. I definitely had to take out my keyboard for this. It definitely lends itself much better to using a keyboard than a MIDI clip, which isn't uh, always ideal for me. If I need a great choir then I'm gonna break out the keyboard you know what I'm saying it's definitely not that big of a deal the fact that it's got solid state effects built into it phenomenal the reverb sounds great the mic control and mixing capabilities again something that a professional instrument should have and does have it does get kind of CPU intensive at times and obviously if you start putting in all these different mic positions and having full control it's going to get pretty heavy on RAM as well but overall I say super dope instrument I'm definitely going to keep using it and trying to implement it in some of my projects especially more of my trailer or movie score work but man this word builder I just I can't get enough of it so anyway uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys there's gonna be a link in the video description if you want to check it out I highly suggest it if especially if you're doing film work TV work video game work or just want that cinematic choir for some of your tunes definitely check this thing out East West Sounds Hollywood Choir Diamond Edition